of set goals and set ideas, but the the people keep moving in and out. So uh, you know, a government is you know originally governments were probably established in order to keep the aristocracy and royal families and whoever was in charge more in charge and be able to you know organize things and, and deal with economics and everything else. But since the creation of the corporation, it's become a, a sort of a different mini government that's now probably usurped the abilities of regular governments just because of the the systems of a corporation are much faster and streamlined compared to a government. Um, you know, so I think, yeah, artificial intelligence has already taken over the world. It's just not very sophisticated yet. The AI that people are always talking about now is a computer related thing which just means it, it happens at the speed of electricity, which is very, very fast. Once that hits, it's gonna be completely different, but already, you know, that's why these companies are, you know, so powerful and so unstoppable is because they literally have no soul. They have no heart, you know, they're not alive. You can't put them in jail. You can't do anything to them except for disband them. And that's practically impossible now with the legal system and the way any of those conventions are set up, all they can do is penalize them monetarily. And that's meaningless really, as long as they have a good business model. Yeah. So they're, they don't have like the actual entity, the corporations themselves, the actual legal entity there has no morals. It has no reason to be good to the earth or good to the people or good to its, its, its employees or anything. It's, it's only the, the mission statement and the, the systems that are put in place legally that the company runs on that actually control all of that. And that's basically a programming framework for people. You know, there, it's a way that, that it, it, like from a programmer sense, a computer programmer sense, if you look at how a corporation runs and you know, how the, uh, how all the employees come together to do the jobs and the various tasks and, how everything balances and works together. It is a computer program. It just doesn't use, you know, uh, chips and, and electricity. It uses people to run it. And so I think that's, you know, something that people have to come in terms with. And I thought about this about a year ago. I was like, oh, that corporations are actually AI. And then I Googled it. And now there's been some essays and some PhD theses on this exact thing. It's not a a new idea, but it's obviously not what people think about usually when they think about a company. Mm. They think, oh yeah, that you know, they're those shareholders or those CEOs are so evil or something like that if they're if the company's doing a bunch of bad stuff. But it's really not that it's a lot like that. Because we all know, you know, if the if a giant company is, you know, doing bad stuff, it's not necessarily the decisions of those people, or it is because they're running a program but they are constrained by all the checks and balances that are put in place in their particular employment position so that they get the bottom line higher. They, you know, they get the public relations good, no matter what they're doing. That's their goal. The public relations office, people, president, whatever, their job is just to make the public like them. It doesn't matter what the company is doing. So they'll do anything they can legally to do that. And, Sometimes, yeah, sometimes they break laws and stuff, but generally they're actually doing all of this. They're causing all this destruction legally because of course they've lobbied governments that confused people with education and, and uh, you know, their own type of, of science that they, you know, they fund and promote and kind of censor when they need to, not any illegally or anything else again, but they've, they've done this in a way that that uh, is kind of automatic, just based on the systems. You know, like there may be, there are obviously conspiracies in the world. There have been conspiracies for thousands of years, but it's actually, it's the systems that are in place that are really wrecking things, not a bunch of people in a dark room. Like there are people in dark rooms trying to wreck things or trying to control things, but they'll all become, you know, pretty obsolete if, you know, collective consciousness, collective intelligence really begins to take focus on the world, or if AI begins to take focus, then we will, even those people will be subjugated by, you know, rules and regulations created by some machine. I agree. Well, and that's why like the idea of the shared knowledge community or having a more human focused 
infrastructure. Yeah. And having something that, you know, we're all the nodes in the intelligence program, but there is a, an actual system in place that does have checks and balances for the, you know, the, the good of the people and the good of the earth. Yeah. But, but that's yeah. And like with a system like that, and I mean, yeah, if someone created a way for people to just organize together and, you know, look at what the problems are, the so-called problems and, and create solutions and stuff, you know, that's going to happen. And I think what's missing in a lot of people's ideas for solutions is they've actually got to factor in the corporations. They've got to factor in the people that are causing the problems and make sure that they're included and not in the discussions because they just won't participate. But, you know, if we're going to, if people are going to organize together and try to stop the devastation of some kind of natural resource or, you know, which includes people and psychology and everything, and they want to make it better. Well, they, they should really, one, one part of that is they have to identify, you know, who's, who's now making money off of this because the world currently does run on money as like a, a currency, like electricity runs a computer, you know, people will do anything for money. That's what money is for. You know, if, if someone doesn't want to do something, you pay them and they'll do it or you find someone who will. So it, money is like, that's why they call it a currency is just because it runs everything like water runs a river. But if you don't take into account, um, you know, oh, we're going to change this big thing because it's, it's causing the world destruction. Uh, you, you may be threatening a $600 billion a year industry. And so if, if you know, we don't, if the group doesn't take that into account, then of course that, that corporation or the groups of corporations or whatever the all those things that are currently profiting and, and being you know made better by doing that are, are going to fight back they're going to you know fight back legally they're going to fight back any way they can but usually it's because they haven't been taken into account so if we want to you know change the way something is being done because it's polluting because of some kind of thing need to factor in into the plan there how are you going to help these companies make just as much money or more doing something else and you know try to counter or try to balance that so they can't just do both you know but if you if we show if you show a corporation they can make more money doing this this way rather than doing the bad practice now they're going to do that you know and they'll, they'll probably jump to the you know doing it because they're going to get automatic public support. They're going to get all these volunteers who are trying to create that new solution to help them do it. And they're going to be able to say, oh yeah, we changed our ways. We got clean, clean, green stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's all good PR. And it actually does make the shareholders and the people that run the company happier because they're, you know, they can relax a little bit knowing that they're making money off of not destroying the earth now. But I think, yeah, without a holistic plan that involves the actual entities that are creating the problem that a solution won't work because you know 600 600 volunteers can't fight and win a battle against 600 billion dollar years industry that being said you know you get 600 thousand people together in some sort of uh collective intelligence system then you know all those dollars are vastly outnumbered yeah and you know no, very, very agreed, and I'm hoping down the road that's what we're building. Um, at least that's what I want to build. I think you do too. Okay, so we got to get these last things finished, right? Hopefully, and then I'll stop bugging you for a bit. And uh, then any upgrades, we can look to get some other people on board. But if we can just get this this finished, then you, then we can be. Yep. At least I can move forward a bit, you know. So if you can somehow get that PDF wireframe that's off the front um, as you load it. Right. Is that a quick fix? Um, yeah, no, I mean, I can fix it. Okay. Um, and then having two entries into the system one where they get one a day and one where they get as many as they want a day 
Oh, yeah. Okay. And set that up later to be a paid thing if we want. Okay. Yep. And so then anyone that I say can get it, can get it, like have some way for me to sort of authorize, I guess, people to get the, the higher version one. Yep. Yeah, I'll set it up so you can just put in the email. Okay. Um, and so this, this is about to work this, and the save as PDF, you got to fill in the little pieces that are missing. And what about the thing at the top? I didn't quite like that. Um, uh, what thing? What it says as choose a rent, let me just. Um, oh, and also I, I think when I get, when I find a piece of music that is the music that turns on as it's going on, that would be too hard to put on, would it? Like background music? Well, just like, you know, as, as the spell comes on, you have this whoosh. Oh, yeah, sound effect. Yeah, that won't yep. be hard to put on once I... No. Okay. No, I, need, I can do that. Okay. And you know there's going to be tons of things I'm going to want done. No okay, so the savings of PDF. And then at the top, it has choose a remedy.com my spell. It's not centered, maybe. Um, it just looks a little sort of. Uh, yeah, okay. That's that's just the PDF file title. I can take it off. Yeah, if you can take, take that off. And I mean, if this is printing on an eight and a half by 11, we've got a lot of dead space at the top. like. We don't want any space below new paradigm toolkit or above remedy oracle. All right, we'll to that's, do just, that. that's just dead space, and we want. <clears throat> and then you have the, you know, the action step, insight, and the the name of the person and the date. In that little box. I guess we won't have a name, eh? We'll just have an email or something. Um, well, no, they can put their name in when they sign up or with these. Okay, yeah, yeah maybe when they sign up and so they can put their name there and date. Well, and yeah, I'll, I'll make it so that their account has their name in it. Okay. And that when they create their account, they also select the time zone so I can make sure that it puts the right date in there. Okay. Yeah, and then if we just have that distinction, I can start to, you know, we want to have, so they're doing it one a day and they want to do more or they want to do it with their business or they want to do it with whatever, right? But how, what do you think the limit is for amount of people that we can have using this thing? Um, right now, I mean, at the same time, not very many, but if we get a server, I mean, if we get a cheap server, 10 or 20, it shouldn't make any difference, maybe more, I'm not sure, maybe a hundred. But if we get a better server, you know, I mean, there's it, there is no limit to the size of the server we can get. Obviously, it's just money. So, so is this is this the same thing as two hundred dollars a month? The kind of the the type of server we'd want for this, or is that too much? Because you're going to need a lot more stuff. Uh, just a sec, I have to get out the door. But yeah, it's probably about that. Good day. Hey, good day. So we're just finishing a few things, but this is, you know, pretty much where we're at, and that was always like higher back there. Uh, okay. Yeah, have a look, and I'll just be in the room here if you need me. Hey, sorry, there's about 12 realtors coming through here. Can you also put the new paradigm toolkit button and then the, the link to the website? Uh, on the PDF, I mean? No, on the on the screen. 
Uh, where? Sorry, what do you mean? You Sorry. Um, Remember how I had it before? Um, bottom, once they ask a question, then they go to the screen, and then there's the the bottom right, there is the new paradigm toolkit little circle. Oh, yeah. Do you want to put that back on and then have the link to the new paradigm website? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, no problem. Okay, so and then the PDF that'll be fixed, and then the double. How, do you think you get that done today, maybe? All of this? No. <laughs> um, but I will give you progress updates as I do it for sure. Okay, but it still will be a priority because you did say you get this finished by today, yesterday, right? Yeah. Well, and they've also added more things, just to be clear. <laughs> so here, here's what I got. Uh, so uncluttered, unclutter it. So when it's loading, you don't see all the wireframe stuff. Yeah. Um, set up the create account thing so people can, or so people have to create an account. Otherwise, they'll just be able to sit there with no account and do it over and over again. With the people with one account, they can do one a day. They can save it and. Uh, They'll get a random background and they can later log in and look at the ones they have. Um, and then set up sort of a, a paid account for whoever you want, where they have unlimited uh, and they can choose one of the backgrounds um, or upload one. And with a PDF, fill in the miss missing things, uh, take off the title and try to get rid of any space. Uh, I also have to still replace the images that you sent me. For the ones that were off center and then the bottom right corner uh put it back and make sure it leads to the the paradigm toolkit website yeah sure all right yeah okay i will i will give you updates on this <laughs> Oh man. I'm also going to in in this stream of stuff, but I won't prioritize it. I'm, I'm gonna still write up those ads for volunteers and try to put them out somewhere. Could this be done in unit like, like Linux? Uh well our my server is Linux. I'm just wondering about like open source. Isn't there a place where open source things are built? Yeah um but why because open source means anyone can just take the source code as well and just take everything yeah okay i'm just wondering yeah. where, where do we find people um there's websites out there for where you can post volunteer jobs I guess uh, along. yeah like that's yeah what we want i think what we should do to attract some people is um, if you can make a three minute video and or a PDF that just kind of showcases what we're, what we're trying to create, okay. not what we have now, but I mean, that could be part of it, but you know, you'll be working to create this project kind of thing, you know, okay. something like that. Cause then I could say we need, you know, a uh, website designer, and, you know, a CSS person, et cetera. Uh, this is the project you'll be working on, you know, which, which position do you want to apply for? And then, okay. Have a... Okay. So I'll do that part. Yeah. Even like a kind of like a brochure or something, a brochure of the future. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the game. I'm always waiting, always waiting. Yeah. How's the girl thing going on? Is that still happening or? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go see a movie with her later today. 
I believe you meet her. Uh, I met her in New Zealand. Thank you very much. No problem. Have a good day. Thanks, Mike. In New Zealand. Way to narrow that down. <laughs> <laughs> How did yeah. you meet her? <laughs> Sorry? How did you meet her? Uh, I met her online through one of these dating apps. Oh, I won't yeah. mention the name. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, she's pretty cool. She's a nurse. Mm -hmm. How far away does she live? Uh, about 10 minutes. Really? That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'd have to say that I hope it doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> your love life, your love life would take too much time away from the little bits and pieces that I could get. I mean, I've found in my life um, that if I have a, a, a solid partner, uh, I'm actually more efficient overall in, in my goals and everything because my mind is not preoccupied with finding someone. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's... I hear you. My time may be more divided, but actually it's in the mentally and you know, emotionally obviously better for me. Gotcha. Okay, so I'll let that out. You you go have your fun. Everyone needs their their love life. I know, but it's it's so funny how the romantic side of life in so many situations, especially around planetary guardians, is always the thing that stops so many projects, <laughs> like a breakup or usually a breakup or something like that. Yeah, at least it's not ego that gets in the way. Well, it, ego never has a chance because ego is is getting broken apart in some other way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll let you go, and we got the task list, and I hope that uh, Mr. Get It Done focuses. And and uh, God, I just is there any type of programming language that you would send me to to say that if I wanted to start programming that could help out in some way, what could help? Um, hmm. Yeah, um, you could learn and be responsible for our app development from scratch. And I can send you a link that will show you everything you need from from absolutely knowing absolutely nothing to producing iPhone and Google apps. Yeah. Yep. Send it to me. Okay. All right. Because yeah, I mean, honestly, anyone can learn it. And this guy is a really good video. It starts from scratch. Like, you know, you touched the computer before, all the way to you're building like world class apps and, and games and whatever you want. Okay. And I yeah. just haven't had a good time to go through it yet. Okay. Send it to me. Because yeah, that would help a lot. Not in the short term, but you know, a few weeks or a couple months down the road, you may be just as good as any app developer out there, kind of thing, if you, if you stick to it. Well, I, I feel like I gotta. I want to learn something new. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of not being able to do the whole thing in a sense. If, if it's, if I can, yeah. then yeah, I think I would. Okay, so um, if you could get the save as the PNG working first, that would help because that's the main thing I'm sort of waiting for. Um, right. Okay. All right. All right, good to chat with you, and uh, we shall talk soon. All right, sounds good. Thank you for everything you've done so far. It's you, you too. Okay. All right, see you soon.